In this video, you're going to get some life-changing advice from 90-year-old Quincy Jones, who's a Grammy legend. He has over 80 nominations with 28 Grammy Awards to his name, and his advice might just shock you. Let's jump into it. The best advice I ever got was from Nadia Boulanger in 1957. She said, your music will never be more or less than you are a human being. And so I started to work on the human being. Trying now for the last two years to get all of the negative thoughts out of my body. Grudges, no more anger. It's a waste of time. And Mark Twain's words just overwhelm me. Anger is an acid which does more harm to the vessel in which it's stored than anything on which it's poured. It's one thing to use anger or an emotional state to write a great song. It's another to let that fester inside your body. Even Proverbs 14.30 says, A peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Jealousy is like a cancer in the bones. Listen to what the best guys have done. That, that always works, you know. I mean, it's when we were kids with, with Bebop. We'd try to play like Miles, try to play like Charlie Parker, like Pat Navarro. And, you, and when you'd come out of that, there's 10 different people, and your personality is going to finally transcend, not transcend that, but, but uh, morph into its own personality because it's, it is a personality. I love what he said about just getting inspiration from the greats and playing the songs they've played, being around people, traveling. I know for me, when I'm listening to other artists' music and whatnot, it just triggers ideas. Not that I'm stealing their ideas, but maybe their verse will give me an idea for a chorus, or maybe their chorus will inspire something for a verse, or it'll just send me on a different idea, but I'm listening to these melodies, I'm listening to the wordplay, I'm listening to the, the hooks and the way they come in, or the production, or whatever it is, and it triggers these ideas. Ideas. And it's not even just for that, for making the music, but even the music videos, the artwork. Like, I find myself, you know, when I'm going to my designer, here's 10 different album covers I really like. Let's take a mix of this one and a mix of that one and make something new and make it my own, make it manifest, you know, and make it whatever you are. Not one drop of my self worth depends on your acceptance of me. It's work, man. They say that the dictionary is the only place you see success before work. And that's alphabetical. I was ready to do myself in. I just couldn't handle the pressure anymore. From day one, we knew how to play every kind of music. Our entire business is all based on two things, a great song and a great story. Number one is to know who you are and learning to love who you are. Because you can't love anybody else if you don't love yourself. When Quincy Jones was stranded in Europe, he realized the importance of being a good businessman as well as uh, being a good musician. He had to really look at every aspect of the business to try to get home. This is my responsibility. I got him over here, I'm gonna get him back. I was ready to do myself in. I just couldn't handle the pressure anymore because he was performing and on the payrolls and trying to book and everything else. And it was just, I think when people to think about taking their own life, it's not about, it's, uh, it's uh, just about 15 minutes a piece. <laughs> you get some rest for a while. It's amazing how it works because a whole series of mistakes at one point, people started to call it experience. Boy, he's very experienced in that. That means you had a chance to mess up a lot. And that's great because if you don't take any chances, you're not going to make any mistakes, you know. It's crazy in school, they tell us to avoid making mistakes, but in business, in the music industry, you've got to make mistakes, you've got to take risks. He who risks the most has the most opportunity for reward. And when it comes to songwriting and creating, you gotta take a chance on yourself. My father said to us every day of our lives, once a task has just begun, never leave it till it's done. Be the labor, great or small, do it well or not at all. Every day of our lives, he said that. And he would never let us have stuff. That I learned from him, and I, I, I treasured that, you know, because he, he didn't believe in doing anything halfway. I love that. Colossians 3.23 says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. And Proverbs 14.23 says, All work brings a profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. So whatever you start, finish it, and let's keep going. What advice do you have for the future of making great records? Know what you're doing. Study everything. You know, study music. You know, because 
I, I'm hearing some funny stuff now that, that drives me crazy. I, I'll talk to some of the producers today. We were doing an amazing project in, in uh, Rabat, Morocco last year. We had all of the number one singers in the Arab Spring, Libya, Egypt, Jordan, Aleppo, Damascus, everywhere. And we were recording over there, and I'm calling no names over there. And I said, do you read music? He said, yeah, I used to, but I forgot. Give me a break, man. You don't forget how to read music. But the, 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 the man, you have to understand and put the work in to learn the science, man. You do. You can't play a trumpet if you don't know how to. You know, you have to, it's a science of armatures, diaphragmatic breathing. There's a lot of secrets with everything you uh, attempt to do, you know, retrograde, inversion, and counterpoint. It, it's been, as I say, there's only 12 notes, man. So you can figure out what you have to do to get your own sound. You have to do that through rhythm, melody, and, and harmony. And you have to do a lot of research to figure that out. You know, you have to know what's going on. You have to understand, I don't know, Ravel and Alpenberg and Basie and Duke and Bo Diddley and, and Melly Mel and Ludacris and, and, and Drake and all of them. Come on, man. You know, it's, uh, it's doing your homework, man. That's all I can say. Prepare yourself, because my thing was, I was all, my biggest fear, and I don't play with that word at all, was to get a great opportunity that I'm not prepared for. So when Frank Sinatra called me, man, I was ready for him, I'm telling you. And he, he tests me. He really, Ray Charles, too, because those guys are rough, man. Billy Eckstein, Ray Charles, Frank Sinatra, they will kick your booty, you know. And he'd say to me in the first, we'd do, do an arrangement at Capitol Studios. He'd say, Q, that uh, first eight was a little dense. I said, no problem, man. And I put all the horn, the trumpets and the harmony mutes, full of stems out, transfer the saxophones to alto flutes and stuff like, let's go. He was testing me, he only did it three times. And after that, he said he knows what he's doing. And I, cause I was ready for it. And that's the biggest compliment, man, and accomplishments you can have in your life is to say, I got my stuff together. I got my shit together. You have to have it together, man. You do. Abraham Lincoln was quoted saying, I will study, I will prepare, and my opportunity will come. The question is, will you be ready, and will that opportunity promote you, or will it expose you? I have seven kids. I have six daughters, 21 to 60. That's why I don't have any hair. <laughs> <laughs> and one son. But... I, my part of the tough love is to tell them the first thing they have to know is know who you are. Because a lot of people don't know who they are. And that's very difficult, but that, that's the first challenge, I think, is to know who you are. And if it's 70, 30, work on it at the 30%, stop whining and move on, you know. And then now until you know who you are, love who you are. That's the first two steps, and that's what I <laughs> mantra to my children. Because you're on your way once you know who you are and, and love who you are, you're on the way. Because if you don't love who you are, you're in trouble. We're on the, the Always home. be true to yourself, baby. Our entire business is all based on two things, a great song and a great story. Film, television, great story. If you don't have that story, nothing else matters. You don't call anybody else to direct anybody. The same with a song. A great song can make the worst singer in the world a star. But a bad song... The three best singers in the world cannot save it.